Hi, hello. This is Anup here, and in this video, we are going to see management insights. What is management insights? So, this is Microsoft documentation, and in that, you can see what is management insight. It's, it's information about the current state of your environment. SSCM will automatically provide these insights of your SSCM environment and that would be very helpful for your administrators in your organization to understand what is happening and is there any cleanup required or not or something similar to that okay so this is it if you want to know what is happening in the background management insight perspective you can see the log called sms underscore data engine dot log so that is the log for management insights let's dive into the console itself so this is management inside dashboard as you can see this is very useful information and uh, this is presented very well you don't need to make anything to get this okay it, it is by default it's a out of box experience uh, depending on your environment you can see management inside index management inside groups and management inside priorities okay if I go to management insight priorities, you can see there are options like critical, recommended and optional. Recommended is 83% for my environment, test environment and critical. I don't have any critical one for this thing. Uh, if I go to management insight groups, you can see uh, something is critical for me. One application is critical. You can directly click on it and it will get you to the that particular application in my environment. Why, why it is critical and kind of stuff like that you will come to know and proactive maintenance cloud services so this is very useful dashboard as you can see the management insight is over here in administration administration work workspace and management insight tab if I click on that you will get this dashboard let me minimize it and uh, if I go down here you can see that which are the queries or rules enabled for management insight for this environment enable WSUS cleanup recommended one action needed whether I need to do something yes these are the these are the statuses so I need to do some action to set it up correctly or do the cleanup so let's dive into management insights over here which are the rules available so there are two sections over here right one is management insight group names and uh, group description the group names are security software sender applications simplified management collection cloud services and proactive maintenance so you can get all the details over here if I if you want to go into the details of each rules in each section uh, you can uh, double click on it otherwise you can just uh, use the rib ribbon button to show the insights this is the first rule if I click on the rule you can see like uh, more than 10 percentage of devices are running the version of system center endpoint protection that are no longer supported that is that is fine for me in this environment because i don't have any uh, endpoint protection managed devices i am using some other third party antivirus to manage my device this is completed unsupported version and we can go back to all insights and I can go to software center what a software center says so it may say like I'm using the old version of software center I don't know let's check direct your users to software center instead of application catalog okay so I don't I don't have any application catalog that is why it shows green okay for this rule I am fine with this rule in my environment if you are using application catalog then it will show you a action needed tab over here you may need to remediate that situation because application catalog is going to going to be out of support soon and the other one is uh, use new version of software center if you are you still using the old version of software center uh, you may have an action over here you can right click on this and reevaluate it actually and if you want more details you can go to more details and you will get what is the details needed and there is option to take action also over here that will lead you to the client policies and uh, in the client policies you can set the new software center policy let's 
go back to all all insights let's dive into application in applications as you can see applications without deployment so this is nothing specific over here simplified management so simplified management is for green for me because I don't have any previous versions of SSCM clients like SSCM 2007 or SSCM 2012 or something like that all my clients are in SSCM CB version so I am fine over here so let's go back and go back to collection let's see what is there in collections what are the improvements i can do in collections so collections also it's green for me there is no empty collections if there is any empty collection it is just uh, eating up resources of your SSEM server uh, to evaluate it that is not required uh, if you have any empty, empty collection that will show up in the action needed tab and you can remediate it from that okay let's go back to all insights and let's let's dive into cloud services for a change i have I have three items in action needed tab. This is what you need to be careful. It is checking the co-management prerequisites. First of all, it, it says configure Azure services for use with configuration manager. For co-management, uh, you can view my previous posts and videos how to configure co-management if you want to know that or if you are interested to know that. Okay. So in this environment, I don't have co-management enabled or I don't have Azure services. I have not configured the uh, Azure services. That is why it says. So these are the two things I need to take care before I uh, do co-management stuff from this environment okay so let, let's go back to all insights and see what is the last one this is my favorite one proactive maintenance so proactive maintenance gives me uh, details about my boundary groups my uh, boundary groups with no assigned uh, site system boundary groups with no members distribution points not servicing if you want to know more about it you can see the details again okay? you can see that i have one action item over here i need to take action so distribution points are not serving the content to the client because uh, th that is not assigned to boundary group so enable cleanup this is also take action option is there if i click on uh, take action it will directly take me to the primary site of my environment from there i can take that action okay so that is very useful option so let's go back to proactive maintenance again and let's see what is another option another action needed thing these are the two action needed thing in my environment by default it's a weekly task to reevaluate uh, reevaluate all the management insight rules if i want to manually reevaluate it i can do it like this right clicking on that rule and reevaluation let's let me go into the logs folder program files configuration manager logs uh, let's find out what is happening with the evaluation sms underscore data engine log this is the overview of uh, management insights and uh, i know microsoft is putting a lot of efforts to improve the management insights and you will see more uh, more and more rules automatically getting created in each each of these categories I'm still waiting for the updates of management insight uh, for 1810 version production version. So let's see what are the management insights uh, available for 1810 production version. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe my YouTube channel if you like my videos and if you want to know more about Intune and SSEM. Please click on bell button if, if you want to know the updates immediately after i publish a video bye bye